a dreadful, weird place. It's like the island is split in two. A bright side and a dark one. I should hurry before something horrible happens. Me. Me. Bella, how about taking a listen to this music? It will inspire you to start up a new beat on the drums. Step aside and let me demonstrate. That sound horrible! I've learned a new beat! 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 Oh, okay, I must admit you're skilled. Now you have a go. Okay, myth. Ah, the gods have been merciful and granted me respite. They have sent you a new rhythm to beat out. Sunny, how's your headache? It's already lifting. 
Did you have a hand in this drumming change? Sure. I showed him how to make the rhythms more interesting. You are truly an angel. It must be my beautiful hair that makes you say that. <laughs> you can't beat a regular visit to the salon to keep your hair in tip-top shape. Uh, of course. Uh, will you please enter my home so we can have a chat? Jari? Please, sit while we talk. Chief Pajari, tell me why you need constant drumming. Atabe is our island's spirit, and he grows weaker with each passing day. The energy from the drumming gives him strength. The spirit of the island, again. Hmm. Is that really going to help? The beats of the drums enhance the rhythm of nature. I'd like to talk with Miguel, the banker's son. That's not possible. Hey, I helped with your headache. It's the least you could do. Very well. But it must remain our secret. If one eye were to find out that I let you in the stockade... I understand. Is this woman one of your subjects? This is Tana. Me wife. That stockade outside, why is it there? One I ordered it built years ago. We were a number of the islanders hostage on his orders. Why are you doing his bidding? If we do not, one I will come here with his men and kill all of my people. If he needs you to watch the prisoners, he can't have enough men to cover the whole island. You should organize the islanders to stop him. I would like nothing more. But it's impossible to coordinate everyone without one eye discovering our plans. There must be a way. If you come up with a plan, be sure to let me know. Stop being so condescending. I'll figure out how to stop him. I'll show you. Bye. I'm Tana, wife of Chief Bajari. Hi, I'm Sunny. There seems to be a big age difference. It is normal amongst our people. Pretty progressive, huh? You should be on Oprah. I can't help but feel that you're a bit subservient to Chief Bajari. He is my chief and my husband. It is my pleasure and honor to attend to all his needs. Looks like I'm going to have to introduce the concept of equality to you guys. I mean, once one eye is out of the way. Can... can I ask you a favor? Sure. My husband has a birthday coming up. Could you get me something I can give him as a present? <laughs> Wouldn't it be more personal if you did it yourself? As the wife of the chief, I'm not allowed to leave the village. You really do need some emancipation lessons. What should I get him? A pendant would be good. I have a gold coin. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Now I have two doubloons.
Why does Morgan wear the clothes she does? Between you and me, I think there's something a little odd about a woman who wears men's clothing. It's not what a normal woman would do. You mean she's really a... you know... Exactly! Still a tomboy, at her age! Oh, I thought... What she needs is to get married and settle down. That's a very old-fashioned thing to say. Nonsense! I could make her the most beautiful wedding dress. Ah, uh, I understand. I'm interested in the dress you have on display. Although I say it myself, I'm particularly pleased with that creation. How much does it cost? It's very expensive. Twenty doubloons. That's not a problem. You do take credit cards, right? Twenty doubloons in cash. No credit. Uh, I don't have any doubloons. Perhaps you should visit the bank, miss. Bye. I'm looking for a pendant. Do you have something for a doubloon? All the pendants are two doubloons. Here are the two doubloons. Can I look at your pendants, please? Who is it for? Tana wants it, as a present for cheap Bajari. I have just the thing. Uh, are you sure? Believe me, this is exactly the kind of thing he goes for. Thanks. It's the gold medallion I got for Tana. Chief? I thought you wanted to see the prisoners. Hi, Chief. I thought you... Weird. Cute, but weird. Hi, guys. I wonder if you can help me. <sighs> Looks like they're just not talking. Hi, I'm Sunny, and I'm looking for Miguel, the banker's son. That's me. How can I help such a beautiful lady? Not that there's much I can do locked in this stockade. Your father sent me. He's really concerned about you. As you can see, I'm very well. I promised your father I'd help you. We need to work out a plan to get you out of here. No, no, you mustn't even think of that. Why? Do you want to be locked in here forever? If I escape, one eye will take deadly revenge. I'd hate to think what he'd do to those I love. But I promised your father. I shouldn't break a promise. Then fetch me a piece of paper and a pencil, and I'll write him a note. How will that keep my promise? Because you'll be helping me to convince him not to anger one eye. Okay, that works for me. However, before I write the note, you must do something for me. Billy Archer said the same to me in his pickup one Saturday night. I told him right there and then. I wasn't the sort of girl who did that on the first date. No, nothing like that. I want you to collect six turtles from the beach. What on earth for? They'll help with the boredom around here. It's not quite in the same league as chickens, but turtle racing is pretty good fun. Maybe it would be quicker if I just, you know, 
Just get the turtles, please. Okay. Those guys over there, why won't they speak? They're having a not speaking contest. Sounds like a kitty game. It's pretty serious. The first one to speak loses and must pay a forfeit. What kind of forfeit? Usually, it's pretty serious. Taking on all the latrine duties for a month, maybe. I certainly wouldn't want to lose. How long has the contest been going on? It's now in its fourth week. Hello. Can you let me out? I need to find paper and a pencil. But I also need to get those turtles. Oh, which should I do first? Work? Sonny, you're coming with us. What's going on, Morgan? Let's just say that I'm using you as a bargaining chip. Oh, you can't use people that way. Oh, you still have a lot to learn about life on this island. I thought you were my friend. Carlo, grab her and bring her along. Carlo, take a bath when we return. Oh, my head. What... what happened? Where am I? This may be useful. The shelves are filled with various dishes. The shelves are filled with various dishes. There's such pigs locking me in here. I can feel some kind of carved relief on the door. It feels like a small knob. Maybe I can try to push it. Oops! I don't care which is the order. I know what I'll do. I can see Morgan in the next room arguing with someone, but I can't tell who it is from here. I can't hear a thing either. The door's muffling the sound of their voices. I wish I could hear what's going on. I only hear mumbling. Huh? Now I can hear what they're saying. I'll not take her, Mogay. Why not? She'd be a perfect substitute, and you can free the island. Do you think there'd be anyone in the world who would make a satisfactory exchange? I want a real woman, not a slip of a girl with no fire. You refuse my offer? Did you really expect anything else? Do you not know me better than that? Why? The islanders take me for a fool. I'm sure they wouldn't dare. <laughs> it seems our pretty blonde guest was spying. What do you want with me? What indeed? It was Morgane's idea to bring you here, but now I have you. I'm unsure if I should let you go. I haven't done anything to you! The voodoo chief Chemin says that you're a powerful shaman. That's right! I'll, I'll put a spell on you! Oh, really? How come you get to rule the island? Well, 
The opportunity presented itself to me, and who am I to refuse? I've heard that you rule like a tyrant. Huh. The islanders have a pretty good life, all things considered. I have the respect. And that's not respect, but fear. <laughs> it's the next best thing. What about the stockade? The pit? It's a small price to pay for the life they lead. Chemin mentioned something about a curse. Do you know anything about that? I'd be a fool to discuss the curse with a powerful shaman. What's the deal with Morgan? She and I have a long history. One day, she'll see sense. <laughs> what do you mean? It's none of your concern, and certainly nothing I'm prepared to discuss with you. I want a word about Diablo. Really? He's nothing more than a big thug. That is the very reason I employ him. It's certainly not for his looks. Well, one of you owes me the cost of a new cell phone after he smashed mine. I'll put it on my list. You will? That's really good of you. My list of things to ignore. Listen, you! And if I don't? If you've done anything to harm Enrico, I'll make sure that you regret it. Oh, I'm shaking with fear. Diablo, lock her back in the closet. Ah! <laughs> There's enough of a gap to lift up the latch. Man, this aquarium is huge. Oh, one eyes wardrobe. It must save a lot of money when your clothes come in kids' sizes. escaped, Captain. I know. It was all part of my plan. Now, I want you to keep a close watch on our young friend Sonny. Yes, Captain. Did you find out who sank my ship? No, Captain. You were supposed to keep a watch on it for me. I am sick of living in this stinking hovel. This is your fault. That's unfair, Captain. I... Hush! Hello? Run along, little lady, if you know what's good for you. You can't tell me what to do. I'm sure you wouldn't want us to use you for our entertainment, now would you? We're pretty bored and could use some fun. You should be careful what you say. I'm a powerful shaman. <laughs> you could always check with Chemin. Or perhaps I should go and get one eye. There's no need to turn nasty. What's in the barrel? This here is one of the fringe benefits of working for Captain One-Eye. He always keeps a regular supply of booze for his men. Why do you work for One-Eye? He's top dog in these parts. Who else would we work for? Would you want us to work for the mayor? He'd have us writing poetry all day. <laughs> Bye. Steady, boy. Take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. Get your hand off if you don't go careful. Why is this dog so vicious? There's no point having a guard dog that's friendly. His barking alerts us when anyone approaches. So why does it attack you? You're One-Eye's men. One-Eye don't trust anyone. He's the only one that's allowed to feed it or pet it. I'll 
for a two. Hmm. Forty-two? This reminds me. I haven't been for a burger in ages. I'm gonna look for Morgan. I need to find out why she tried to hand me over to One-Eye. Neat. 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 Neat, neat, neat. There's the neat. word pit engraved on the stone. Neat. How odd. Neat. Neat. These look like dead knights. Neat. Hey, wait. If they're talking, neat, then they're not neat, dead. Neat. Can you just neat. shut up, guys? Neat. 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 Neat, neat, neat. 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 